the tape for this welterweight championship fight. The American is 36. The Canadian is 39. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world, George. Gloves, so back to corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Such a fast leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch by St. Pierre. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. He's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, 
we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook. And new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tony. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion. And as he celebrates in the corner, you can't help but think that this could be an extended run for him here.